we know that this state is way behind on closing the gap, for instance. The target measures that we set for ourselves in around the year 2000 that we're trying to hit by 2015, we're way behind. We are going to fall further behind if our students don't have the money they need in this biennium for this bill, because remember, some might say, well, look, we're going to argue about House Bill 1 tomorrow. But people are receiving acceptance letters and making decisions about college right now. They're not going to make those decisions in September. They're making those decisions right now. And when they receive letters like this, a lot of your people are just going to give up. And I want to tell you what I believe that means. We talk about the American dream. We talk about it throughout the United States. And in Texas, we ask, our, we ask our young people to dream big, to dream about being a lawyer or a firefighter or a doctor or teacher, whatever it is that they want to do, an engineer. Those dreams and that advice is not unique to America. The dream of having a healthy life, being safe, having a prosperous life, those dreams are not unique to America. What makes America unique is the infrastructure and the system that we have set up in our country and in our state to make that dream possible, to make those aspirations come true, to help people achieve their American dream. And that's why people from throughout the world want to come to the United States, because we have set up a system, an infrastructure of opportunity that helps people chase and catch their American dream. So what this bill represents, if it goes down the way we suspect it may go down, is that you are undoing that infrastructure of opportunity. You are taking away from that system that we have set up as Texans and Americans to help people catch their American dream.